Hi everyone, it's Maria here. Welcome back to my channel. I am actually um, going to be doing some running around today. Let me give you a little bit of backstory. Um, we last year had planned a quinceanera for my daughter. And of course, we all know 2020 hit and things just kind of got pushed aside. And then we decided we were going to do a sweet 16 and 2020 kind of carried over into 2021. So uh, the plans have changed again. So we are actually still going to go through with um, doing some pictures. So I'm going to go and pick up some of the last minute items that we needed that we just kind of held off on because we weren't really sure what was going to happen. So join me for that. And then of course this weekend we're going to be doing the picture. So I will be sure to include you in that as well. My other channel will include um, the DIYs that we would have done for the centerpieces, which we're still going to do some, just not at a large um, quantity because we are going to have a nice dinner for her because quite honestly, everybody deserves to be celebrated and she is an amazing daughter. And this is really quite heartbreaking that we didn't get to go through with the actual party, but um, we're going to make the best of it and I want you guys to uh, join in. So anyway, um, let's go ahead and go pick up some of these last minute items. Oh, it's so pretty out today. So this is what we're here for. We are here to find the flowers for her bouquet. So I'm hoping to make it very easy, but like I said, it I do have the video on my crafting and cooking channel so that you can go back and see how I made this, but I did use um, brooches and it turned out absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I am looking for something that is very soft and silky. And I'm trying to make this bouquet as easy as possible. And I think this is the one. I love the intricate design and feel to this. So I think I'm gonna pick this one up. Okay, so now we're heading to the mall. We're going to see if we can find some shoes, maybe some jewelry. Um, there's still a few other little things that I need to pick up, but I will show you everything that I bought in the haul. Okay, I'm back. So I did a lot of running around and shopping and trying to figure out what we needed for my daughter's quinceanera pictures, but I did really good. Obviously, she still had, she already had the dress. Um, I'm actually waiting for Amazon to deliver the crinoline. So um, as soon as that comes in, we will be completely ready. But I do wanna show you some of the things we picked up. Now keep in mind, this is for the photographs and we are gonna have a really nice dinner versus having the actual event at a venue, all of that with what happened in 2020, going into 2021. So um, if you are following me on crafting and cooking, you will be able to see um, some of the DIYs that I'm creating for the dinner event. And one of them is the actual bouquet that she's going to be holding and I have it right here. It turned out so beautiful. Look at this. Oh my God, I'm so happy with it. So these are the brooches that I included. Oh, it's just stunning. So anyway, so this is going to be something that um, I put together. I actually had gone to Hobby Lobby and I picked up the, the blue 
floral pick and then a pre-made um, white rose bouquet and I kind of took that apart and then put all this together so that is the first thing that I picked up and because we're not doing the formal um, event we are just going to use costume jewelry so um, I did end up going to Claire's and I picked up this beautiful a bracelet oh my god it's a stunning let's see if you can see that up front or up close I should say anyway so I thought that was really beautiful. I did end up buying her two different hair clips because I wasn't sure which one was better quality or which one she would like better. So this one I picked up, I actually got this one at Walmart. And then this one I picked up at Claire's. If you can see that, the little light glare. Um, so that was, that was really cool. Um, and then of course she hasn't worn makeup before, or I think only one time her friend, um, they were kind of goofing off and she put makeup on, but she has never actually had full makeup put on and used on a daily basis. So I did pick up the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation, which I use it, but in my shade. So I wanted her to have something. Um, the Maybelline Superstay powder, and I did also get her um, a lip liner. So uh, I do have some other products that I have already for her, but it wasn't part of the actual shopping haul that I I did. So that was a lot of fun. Now this was so incredibly beautiful. I did not have her shoes ready because we were still quite a few months out before the actual event. So um, I did go shopping at the mall and found these stunning, stunning shoes. Look at this. Not too high because she's really not used to walking in heels. Look at the glitter on it. It's just, they're so beautiful. So here is the other one. And I'm absolutely in love with them. They are just so beautiful. So um, in case you haven't guessed it, the color of her dress is blue and has silver accents. So that's why we got the shoes in that silver. Um, oh, going back to the whole Claire's, I did buy her these earrings. And initially we were gonna buy her um, sapphire earrings. But again, all of that has changed. So we're just gonna go with something a little simpler. And then of course, oh, hold on. I did end up getting her just a little elf brush so that she would have for herself. So again, I don't know if she's gonna use makeup every day. It's gonna be very new for her, but she might like it. So we'll see what happens. And then this is my favorite piece. It just came in yesterday. It is her tiara. Look at this. I don't know if you can see that. Look at it. It is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So we are very excited for this. I am so glad you guys came along with the haul. I'm gonna go ahead and link some of the products that I purchased, whether it was at um, to create the bouquet or the crown, whatever it is that I find links for. Um, I'm not affiliated with Amazon. I mentioned that in my crafting and cooking video. So um, if I find a link that will serve you guys, then please, by all means, go ahead and use it. Um, if I am affiliated ever with any kind of links, I'll let you guys know there too. But anyway, I am having so much fun sharing this with you because it has been a lonely road, especially since we ended up having to postpone it and then ultimately cancel it. But if you are in the Reno area or close to and you're looking for a venue, the Hidden Valley Country Club will bend over backwards for you. We found them to be amazing. We really talked about maybe trying to push it out even further, but at this point my daughter's like, no, it's kind of like missed the point. So we just pushed it out, but anyway, um, we're still gonna have a really nice dinner. We're gonna include you in that. It just warms my heart to know that I'm sharing this with you all because it is. You guys are like family away from family. <laughs> so anyway, but we are gonna make the best out of everything and you guys go over to my other channel, see how I made this bouquet. It's a lot of fun. It's so easy and um, I'm just happy. I'm, I'm super happy that you guys are a part of this. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next vlog.